The words that I share with you this morning are from a great man, Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, the author of The Power of Positive Thinking. If you haven't read that book, go and get it. It will help you greatly. It was first published in 1955, but it is just as powerful and filled with truth for today's world. These words were spoken in my ministry by Dr. Peel, and I have a picture here. This is from August 1989, 23 years ago, a long time ago. That was backstage at my ministry. He was there, and he spoke about what it means to be spiritually mature. He said the journey towards spiritual maturity, it lasts a lifetime. And he offered the following advice. Ask God who made you to keep remaking you. Some of the best advice that I've ever received. And I give it to you today. Ask the God that made you to keep remaking you. Don't be so stuck in your ways that you refuse to be remade. I mean every level of you, including opinion. Sound advice, but we have to take that advice. When we cease to grow, either emotionally or spiritually, we do ourselves a profound disservice. But if we study God's Word, and if we obey God's commandments, if we trust God's promises, and if we live in the center of God's will, we will not become stagnant in life. Instead, we will keep on growing. And that's exactly what God wants us to do. Are you fully growing? Well, if you're honest, you'll admit that you're not. I admit that I'm not. I hope and I pray every day I'm growing spiritually. And I reserve the right even to change my mind on long-held beliefs because I want to always go up higher. I don't want to be the person that holds me at a lower level, and you don't either. You'll never be fully what you can in this life unless you are willing to be remade. On the spiritual journey, there is always room for growth, and that growth will bring you great blessing. Listen to what it says in James, verses 2 and 3. Dear brothers and sisters, when your troubles come your way, consider it an opportunity of great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. We have to realize that God is continually helping. That God, it says in the Bible, will only give us a small piece at a time. And you might pray about that and ask, why is that so? Why can't God give it all to me at once? Because, my friend, we'd reject it. It would be too high. We couldn't believe it. We couldn't grasp it. The Holy Spirit was given to guide us into all truth. But God doesn't do it all at once. God bless you. I pray this week that you are spiritually mature. That you're willing to take on higher concepts and to know that you can become more, that you can become remade.